What's up guys, welcome to another Scratch tutorial. Today we are continuing our series on how to make a tank game in Scratch. And today we will be looking at how to add the enemy tanks that can shoot the player. And I have the sprites ready. They have no code in yet. It's just the enemy ship pl player tank costume and the gun too. And we have a bullet which I will call enemy bullet. And we'll go into our backdrop sprite. I mean backdrops. And we need to get started. So first let's create a block called initialize. It needs to be run screen without refresh. So let's put it over there. And in here we're going to delete my variable. We're going to create a new one called enemy ship enemy tank counter and we're going to set that to zero and we're going to make another list we're going to make a list called x y and direction so let's hide all of those <clears throat> and we're going to delete all of them in the list so x y and direction and in our enemy tank, let's say when the green flag is clicked, hide. We want to hide because we're going to create clones. So we're going to say forever, create a clone of myself. And we'll, before that, we will do a pick random one to two seconds. And, and when I start as a clone, I want to show and go to XY. And in here, we're going to go all the way to the left of the screen, which is here. Uh, it's 248. And Y, we want to pick random, negative 180 to 180, which is the top to the bottom. I'm going to say forever, change our enemy chain counter by one. We're going to add get three adds we're going to add x position to our x list add our y position to our y list and same with direction and finally let's create a clone of enemy bullet and let's say when I, another one I start as a clone we are going to get a forever loop and forever we're going to move two steps and we're going to say point towards player tank and if our x position is less than negative 240 we're going to delete this clone so now it's just going from the here to there and if they reach this part of the screen they will die or they will delete the clone and in our enemy bullet sprite let's say when green flag is clicked hide and when i start as a clone which is in control we're going to go to xy and we're going to go to the item one of, I mean the item enemy tank counter of X. And the item enemy tank counter of Y. And then we're going to point in direction. Item enemy tank counter of direction. And repeat until touching edge. And we want to put that after this positioning script. We're going to move 10 steps, which is the same bullet speed as our player tank. And after that, delete this clone. So I'm pretty sure this will work. And let's put a show over here. So what you should see now is that the player tank is shooting bullets. 
But as you can see, they're shooting too fast, of course, which is not what we want. So, going to our enemy tank, we're going to wait one second. So that, that way, it shoots one, and then shoots another one, shoots another one, for one second. And I'm going to make these sprites smaller because they're way too big. Let's set our size to, let's say, 80. And so is our gun, 80. Well, not 80, let's say 200. And over here, also 80. Okay, that looks fine. And in our enemy bullet, okay, that's we'll st that will stay the same. Okay, so now they're way smaller, and it's good to have small things so we have more sprites coming up on the screen. If we have more sprites coming up on the screen, so that will be, and we will put more sprites in the next tutorial. So we will. You might need to adjust the size if, if you need to. And yeah, so that was all for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next Scratch tutorial. Peace out.